Okay, you've talked about your theme, you've talked about your important question, you talked about the standards that are going to guide your planning, and then you went to your tasks, your performance tasks. So that leaves your toolbox now, all the things that you need in order to make those performance tasks successful for the students. So I'd like you to talk about how planning this way helps you selecting which tools to use, which vocabulary items, um, grammar, the resources that you're going to draw on from all the things that you have to choose from, uh, technology. How does that fit in with that sequence that we've been following for developing your lessons and units? In our unit, we conceived our our IPA as a final summative assessment of the 10 of 4. So this is the very end. That's when the student then have satisfied the requirement. And so we wanted to have them to leave <laughs> with something they can make use of. And so because we, uh, at, at, uh, at that level, uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, they, uh, one of the language objectives is to have be able to express opinion, to use the subjunctive modes, to express to use a conditional mode. And so starting from there, that's how we, we also related it to the fact that we ask them to conduct a sort of, de of defense of their own uh, video, as Christina mentioned earlier, and to criticize and um, uh, the other people, the other students' videos. So the language, those language objectives definitely drove uh, what we ask them to do. Um, Use of material, uh, well, the internet has been probably the main source for us in developing this unit um, because the video clips of the trailer that we show them at the beginning um, as examples uh, are taken directly from the internet and uh, we have internet connection in all our classrooms, so that's pretty easy. Uh, we also, um, so when they do the video clip, they need a video camera, which is easily to be found at the language lab here at the university, so they can take advantage of this, uh, of this material. And, uh, um, and so, and, and as well as the, in the present, in the interpretive task, we provided them with this article also taken from the internet. So definitely, uh, so technology and, uh, and the internet world is basic, is a basic, uh, for, for this, uh, IPA. Uh, the textbook, uh, there is a textbook, uh, and it's used more as a reference book in this case, uh, because again, being a summative assessment at the very end, um, the students are already familiar with the structures, should already be familiar with the structures, and so they can go back to the textbook just to check and, uh, and review, but it's not used during this, uh, during this unit. How important do you think it is to include technology in your units, given today's student who lives and breathes via technology? Does it need to be in every unit of instruction, or um, is it okay to have a unit that doesn't draw on technology? I think it's okay to have a unit from time to time that does not draw on technology. Actually, right now for my current unit, I've backed away a little bit from using the laptops. Uh, it's been harder to come up with as many authentic speaking assessments using the laptops, and the kids really like them. They want to be on them. They've become very good writers and using the laptops, including even like um, Google Docs in terms of assessing each other, editing, um, in terms of looking for resources. I think that my students now enjoy really learning Arabic because we are using a lot of technology. Now we're starting iPad activities and it's, I mean, they are just so excited to get the iPad and then whatever you tell them to do, they will do it while they are learning. I mean, we're not saying that we're doing technology away from what we're doing, but we are using technology to embrace what we are teaching and our kids are happy about it. Why not? I mean, why not taking advantage of it? I think I agree with all what they said, and I, I just would like to add uh, the fact that still technology is, is a tool, it's not the goal. So uh, having said that, 
um, we, we can't avoid to use technology. And in fact, uh, in our unit, we decided to have students make a video clip because we thought that's something they're very familiar with. And they film everything and it's very easy. But again, at the same time, um, it, it has to be remembered that uh, whatever we decide to do, the technology has to give us some additional um, input and something more positive than not using technology and just not using technology as itself, just because it's fun to do it. So uh, keeping that in mind, I think it's possible to create a balance between the two. By, and so still yeah. hold to some more traditional way, as we call, and also to remind students that language is between people and not, mm -hmm. not necessarily through a machine between the two people who are mm -hmm. talking, and then use it um, according to what our goals are. Mm -hmm.